Next at 4.30, FEMA has set up another resource hub for survivors, this time in Lahaina. This is ahead of a visit from the House Speaker and a top federal housing official. Our Jelani Martinez joins us with the latest. Jelani. Mark Ash, FEMA has put up put off opening a disaster recovery center in Lahaina for safety reasons. Today, the federal agency was finally able to open one at the Lahaina Civic Gym. I feel very privileged to come and receive some giftings um, to be able to relocate. And I um, am also passing on a baton as we face the mountains of Lahaina Luna saying goodbye. Rebecca Coleman is among the many who went to FEMA's new disaster recovery center in Lahaina. It's set up like the other hubs with help available from federal, state and city agencies. They're not only helping to replace vital records lost in the fire, but are also giving qualified residents an immediate payment of $700. If you have critical needs that are needed right now, tell us that immediately and that's when we can get a quick $700 into your pocket. That is just the tip of the iceberg. FEMA says that $700 check is nowhere near the end of the help that's coming. Before the Lahaina wildfire and Hurricane Idalia in Florida, Congress initially asked for $12 billion to cover any potential disasters this year. U.S. Senator Brian Schatz says the Biden administration now supports adding another $4 billion to that proposal. FEMA is not running out of money from the standpoint of uh, helping out those in Lahaina. They are able to meet all of the immediate needs. Um, but as we look at a longer term recovery, we're going to need more resources. Schatz says a lot of the money will be going toward rebuilding public infrastructure, including King Kamehameha III Elementary School and Lahaina Harbor. He says rebuilding homes is a bit further down the line. But really, I think it's important to take one step at a time. You know, we still haven't completed the process, unfortunately, of tallying um, those who perished. Uh, people still haven't had access to their properties. Speaker Kevin McCarthy is set to visit Maui tomorrow and tour the disaster areas with a bipartisan delegation. HUD's deputy secretary arrives on Maui next week, Tuesday, and will be there for three days. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.